I'm Karen Covey. I'm a divorce lawyer, mediator, educator, and the author of When Happily Ever After Ends, How to Survive Your Divorce Emotionally, Financially, and Legally. I'd like to welcome you today to my two-minute divorce tips. These are just small tidbits of information designed to answer the questions that you have about divorce. And the question that I'd like to answer today is one that I know is really hard for a lot of people, and that is, how do I know when I should get a divorce? And the answer is, it's a really difficult question, and I can't tell you the answer. It's something that only you can decide for yourself. But what I can do is give you a couple of little tips and tools that you might be able to use that will help you make your own decision a little bit easier. And the first tool that you can use is counseling. Now, there are a lot of different kinds of counseling. There's individual counseling, marriage counseling, pastoral counseling, which is counseling through a religious organization, if you happen to be a member of a religion. Um, and there's also something new called discernment counseling. Now, what discernment counseling is, is it's specifically designed to help you and your spouse just figure out, do you want to stay married? Or should you get divorced? It's a limited scope counseling and it can help you in making a decision in this kind of area. Another thing that you might think about is a controlled separation. Now this isn't just you go your way and your spouse goes your spouse's way. This is actually a controlled situation where you and your spouse make an agreement in writing about how the separation is going to work, what's going to happen, who's going to live where, what the rules are going to be, how long the separation will last. You decide all of that on the front end, and then hopefully by the time the separation is over, you're a little more clear on whether you want to stay or whether you want to go. That's a controlled separation. Another thing you can try is just hitting up the self-help section in your bookstore. There are actually a lot of really, really good books out there that are designed specifically to help you figure out, should you stay or should you go? Now, if you check out my website in the blog, Should I Get Divorced, I've listed for you some of the best books there with links to Amazon. So just look it up and it's all right there for you. Another thing you want to think about is educating yourself because there's a lot to divorce, and before you go dive into the pool, you want to make sure you know what you're getting into. So you can either talk to an attorney or a divorce coach or go to an online education program. Do what you need to do to figure out what divorce is, what's going to be involved in divorce for you before you start the process. And the last thing that you can do is just be still. Listen to the little small voice inside of you. And I know this is something that's really hard for everybody because we've got so many things to do. And especially when you're in the throes of indecision, it's tough to just quiet your mind and spend 10 or 15 minutes a day or whatever you can spare to listen to yourself, listen to your body, pay attention to how you feel. All of that can go a long way in letting you know what's the right decision for you. So I hope these tips have been helpful. And remember, if you have a divorce question that you would like answered on the Two Minute Divorce Tips, leave it for me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.